Yo, what's going on guys? JV here and today I have some more MLB The Show 20 content for you. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new eight diamond cards that SDS just dropped in the new postseason collection. It's going to be for the Division Series um, in MLB. So yes, eight new diamonds. I hope you guys like them. There's a couple really, really good pieces of content there. But before we get into the video, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button, thumbs up, subscribe, anything you guys can do to show support, it would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. All right, guys. So here you'll see we have the AL and the NL that we got last week. Right above that, you'll see the new program, the Division Series one. And here we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new moments. And they don't look, you know, too tough. This one here just says hit a home run. This one here, hit a home run. Pitch five innings, don't give up a run here. Pitch one inning, do not give up one run there. Strike out three batters. Shouldn't be too tough, right? Um, tally four extra base hits. You got three games to do that. I think that one's, you know, pretty easy. Tally eight hits in four games. That one could be a little bit difficult. And then 12 total bases in four games. That one's a toss up, right? That one's a toss up. But this is where you get them done. Eight moments. I know some people on Twitter were talking about it. Taking them about a half hour, 45 minutes. That's not going to be the case for everybody. I get it. But just trying to give you a gist of where some people may be. But uh, yeah, let's check out some of the new cards. All right, guys. So first on the list is 99 overall Carlos Carrera. And probably a lot of people's favorite card in this in this list. Not mine, but going to be a lot of people's card. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge Astro guy after what they went through. But that's beyond the point. That could be for a different video. But he's got the second and third um, base secondary positions. Contact is amazing, 115 plus from each side, 118 power against right-handed pitching, 84 power against the left side, great fielder, 91 field, 97 arm, 90 excel, um, and, and 85 reaction. Let's take a quick look at the quirks here. Hitting machine, bomber, 2020 vision, walker, soft hands, and quick reflexes. Again, just a good piece of content. The more content we get, the better, right? I don't like seeing the same lineups in battle royale and rank seasons. I like getting into a game and seeing, you know, different variants of different kinds of lineups. So the more content we get, the better. That's just me. Let's check out the new card, uh, the next card though. All right, guys, next up on the list is 99 overall, Travis Darno catching card absolutely demolishes right-handed hitting so this could be a card to have on your bench as a backup catcher slash platoon card against right-handed pitching i don't know just a thought he's also respectable against lefties with plus 85 against each side um very good fielder above average fielder for the catching position actually great fielder for the catching position you know nice card um no complaints here let's check the next one all right, so next on the list, and this is a card that's receiving a lot of uh, a lot of criticism, we'll call it. You know, in the community on Twitter that I saw early on, a lot of people were like, well, why Marcus Simeon if we have Carlos Carrera as well? Good question, but the, the answer that I would give was, why not? Why not more content? The more the merrier. I can see us getting mad if we didn't have enough content, right? But why are we getting mad if we have too much? Just me, I don't know, different discussion, but pretty good looking card here. He's really just average across the board. I mean, just look at the numbers there. Um, yeah, not too much to dive into. I would just say all around average card. Hitting machine, bomber, 2020 vision, quick reflexes, soft hands, and walker as his quirks. Let's check out the next one. All right, next up on the list and let the memes roll because I'm going to butcher this last name and then it's going to be first baseman from the Tampa Bay Rays, 97 overall, Michael Brasau. Brasau. You get the point. He has the secondary positions of short, third, and second base. So he plays everywhere in the infield except for catcher and pitcher. Absolutely demolishes left-handed um, pitching with the 125 on each. Pretty respectable against right-handers as well. This is pretty much just the opposite of Travis Darno but a card that can play everywhere in the infield. So to me, if you're using this card, platoon him off your bench, have him, you know, come off the bench, play second, third, and short. It, it, you know, if you bring him off the bench to go against a left-handed pitcher, somebody like Chapman or, or Crochet, whatever it may be, but another good piece of content, a new card, a card we've never seen before. So I am not complaining. Let's check out the next. All right, guys, so the third shortstop on this list and the worst one, I'm not a huge Yankees fan, but that's because I'm a small market guy with the Cleveland Indians, but that's another story. Gliber Torres, and I'm not gonna lie, he's an absolute animal in IRL. This card's pretty cool too. And, and one thing that sticks out about this card is his swing. 
His swing in MLB The Show is glitchy. He's got one of those right-handed swings where it just makes his numbers automatically better. Hopefully, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yes, really good card, good fielder. He's got the diamond fielding, the diamond hitting. He plays second and third. Let's check out the quirks here. Hitting machine, quick reflexes, sniper, pressure cooker, walker, and bomber. So uh, yeah, nice card. Third shortstop on the list, but like I said, the more the merrier. I'm gonna keep repeating that. The more content we get, the merrier. The more lineups we get to make, the more theme teams we get. It's just, keep it coming, right? The content has been A1, let's keep it coming. But let's check out the next card. All right, so the next card on the list, and my favorite one on this list is the right, I mean, the relief pitching Julio Urias. So I'm just going to get into why I love him. Why I love him. One, look at the stamina. It's another long reliever we get to have on our bullpen. A guy who can pitch you potentially three, four, five innings out of the pen. So say your starter gets you to the second or third inning and you just need to pinch it for him. Or maybe he's just getting lit up. You could bring in Urias and, you know, at the middle relief the long relief part of your bullpen and, and he could give you four or five innings and you don't have to waste your big bullpen arms love long relief cards we don't get enough of them i i remember back in the day when we had the chris medlin long relief one of my favorite cards i know paul spore would be proud of that but um yeah so he's a long reliever also a lefty throws the fastball curve change slider so he's got a good uh, array of pitches he's got a good wind up and delivery which i like about this card as well hits through nine at 110 K through nine at 112, pretty good there. All around, just good card. Like I said, I love the long relief cards. The more, the merrier. I just love the content, but let's get to the next one. All right, guys, so next up on the list is relief pitching, Emilio Pagan. And I'm sorry my camera's been up in that spot the entire time, especially for the pictures I've been showing off. I made a whoopsie. So I'm gonna put the camera here. So relief pitching, Emilio Pagan. He throws the four seam, cutter, curve, slider. He stands tall on the mound at 6'3". I heard he's got the over the top arm angle, so that's always good. 118 hit through nine, which is pretty damn good as well. 99 break, 92 control. You're gonna be able to control him. He's got a good array of pitches. His fastball hits 100, I've heard. Good card, more relief pitching. Love it, love it, love it. Good piece of content. Let's get to the next one. All right, guys, so next up on this list is the relief pitcher, Ryan Stanek from the Miami Marlins. Another guy who's standing tall on the mound. He's gonna throw 100, maybe 101, as long as the outliers work. And 121 hits through nine, 109 K through nine. A very, very lights out card out the pen. So if you get this card in BR, you're going to be humming fastballs. I don't know if I'd be comfortable using this card because of the three pitches in rank seasons, but this is a another relief pitcher. The more relief pitchers, the better, right? We've always asked SDS for three positions that we needed more of because there was kind of a lack of content. Catching cards, relief pitchers, and second baseman. And they've blown the door off at those three positions. So shout out to those guys there for that. Now let's just fix hitting. Anyways, Ryan Stanek, good card, good new card, Miami Marlins. I know they don't have a ton of content, so I know the guys who are Miami's fans on Twitter, when they saw this card, they were happy about it. And I know he's one of the fan favorites in, my, in Miami. So yeah, that's actually the last card on the list. I believe that is all eight. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm new to the YouTube thing, so any tips criticism, whatever you have for me that I could do better that you may have seen in this video, please leave it down in the comment section. I will respond to every comment and I will love the criticism. I'm trying to learn. So I want to be a wet sponge. So help me help you, I guess we can say, right? Let's whatever. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, all those good things you guys do. And do not forget in 2016, the Cleveland Indians blew a three to one lead. Holy shit. Get out of here. Got the mojo.